Good morning, guys. So today I thought I would share my Zeppoli recipe with you. March 19th is St. Joseph's Day, San Giuseppe, and I thought I'd make Zeppoli for the family. We're gonna start off by making the pastry cream. You're gonna need four egg yolks, two and a quarter cups of milk, one and a half teaspoons of vanilla extract, quarter of a cup of sugar, quarter of a cup of flour, and a quarter of a cup of corn starch. So for added flavoring, I cut off a thick piece of the skin of an orange. You could use lemon, or you don't have to do that step at all. So you're just gonna put all those ingredients in a bowl over medium heat until it starts to thicken. Once it thickens, cook for a minute longer and then remove from the heat. Transfer the pastry cream to a bowl covered with plastic wrap, making sure that the plastic is touching the top of the cream and refrigerate. Now for the zeppoli, what you're gonna need is one cup of water, half a cup of butter, one cup of flour, four eggs, and a pinch of salt. Put your water, pinch of salt, and your butter. And you just heat that until it starts to boil. What I'm gonna do is dump my flour in all at once and stir vigorously until all the flour has been incorporated into the liquid. You have to keep stirring, make sure that you don't burn the bottom of the pot or it doesn't stick to the bottom. You'll know this is ready once the dough forms like a ball and it all comes together into one big mass and the bottom of the pot has a coating on it like a film. Mix it just to release some of that steam. So once the dough has cooled a little bit, you're gonna add the eggs one at a time. You're gonna keep mixing until it comes together and it looks like a very smooth, thick cake batter. So using a half inch tip, you're gonna transfer that dough into a piping bag. And I used a star tip because that'll give you those nice edges on the zeppoli. So now you're gonna pipe it onto a baking sheet covered with parchment paper. And what I like to do is go around twice. So do one full circle and then a second layer on the top. Just make sure that you leave like an opening on the top. Bake these at 350 for 50 minutes. After 50 minutes, turn off the oven with a sharp knife, just poke a little slit into the side and let them cool in the oven with the oven off. Look at that. Look at how beautiful that is. Here I'm using the pastry cream in some of the zeppoli and I've also got a couple of zeppolis there with um, strawberries and fresh cream and I have a combination of the pastry cream with the whipped cream. I put some bananas and drizzled some Nutella over top. Don't forget the icing sugar, makes it look so pretty.
I hope you guys enjoyed this video as much as I enjoyed making it. Please don't forget to like and subscribe and come back for more videos. Bye guys. See you next time.